Okay, so today I'm going to take a design that we've created on a scaled template and start paneling this for print. Uh, so one of the first things I'm going to do is drag some guidelines in. Now these guidelines are going to allow me to kind of get a little bit of uh, extra air spot so that I can uh, wrap these things and not um, have them be too small so I have a little bit of leeway when it goes to wrap them. Um, these guidelines are going to go in just a little bit above and below and outside of everything so let me put some of these in. Okay. And what we're going to do is when we put these guidelines in I'm then going to go back and hide uh, hide my template layers which is showing the building parts um, and then flatten this image and once I'm done flattening it then I'm gonna start grabbing panels out of the size of my printer okay so I gotta zoom in on that one Okay, grab that right at the crack boom Okay, and then a lot of this fine detail is going to really come down to the installer. Okay. All right, that'll work. All right, so I got top and bottom of that one, each of those panels. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now hide my template layers. Okay, leaving just this. Now I'm going to flatten the image. <clears throat> Flattening this image is going to allow me to grab these bigger chunks. Okay, and I kind of see a few weird things like this yellow really should continue down. Okay, so before I flatten that, that yellow layer appears to be right there. So I'm just going to go ahead, activate that layer. I'm just going to fill that in because that really shouldn't be white down here. So I'm just going to take a chunk of this and I'm going to fill this with that same color yellow. Oops. Okay. And oh, it looks like maybe there's just a white layer on top of it. So it's finding that white layer. There we go. Hey, that was a lot easier. Okay, so now I'm going to go to image and I am going to actually go to layer. I'm going to flatten the image. Okay, yes, I want to discard hidden layers. Now this is only temporary. I don't want you to go out and save this after you flatten this. Okay, now I'm going to grab my marquee tool and I'm going to go to a normal. Okay, and I'm going to grab this first panel. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy that. Edit, copy. Now I'm going to go File, New. And it should set my size to be that same size that's in my clipboard that I just copied. Okay. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to paste that. Control V. Okay. Now I can save this. File, Save As. I'm going to save it in this folder. I'm going to name a new folder called Print. Okay. I'm going to make this a TIFF, a copy, no layers, okay, and I'm going to call this left door upper window, save, okay, go back to my flat layer, select this, edit, copy, File, New, OK. I'm going to Control V, paste that in. File, Save As, TIFF, as a copy. I'm going to call it Right Door, Upper Window. Oops. Right Door, Upper Window, Save. Okay, and what you're not seeing over here is these options. I'm just going to leave it as is. Hit OK. Okay, now when I go back to these, I want to put each of these door panels up as one shot. So I'm going to select this. Okay, 
and I'm going to go edit copy. File new. Paste it. File save as. And you should be getting the drill by now. A tiff. Copy. And I'm going to call this left door left panel. Save. Okay. Okay, I'll do one more, and then by this point, you should get the idea. We're going to have all these different panels that we then can send to our printer through Flexi. So, one more. Copy. File new. Okay. Edit paste. Save as. TIFF. If I just uncheck layers, it actually picks that as a copy. I'm going to call this left door right panel. Okay, and that should be able to get you a pretty set. Do the same thing for that right door and when we go through and look at all of our print files you'll see that we will have all these TIFFs ready to go. So that was for Glenn Robbins. Inside of our print folder these would be all the TIFFs that we'll bring into Flexi. Uh, should make installation pretty seamless.